it is well we have to we have to gradually you know we cannot achieve the goals at once but we must be achieving the goals as we go along towards the 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 ultimate objective and uh, in doing that that's what i was talking about there is a need education they, they all emphasize the need for education because that is the fundamental tool without education the liberation would not have been possible so education is a fundamental tool for liberation also a fundamental for development because you cannot develop without ideas without 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 skills and it's only education that can offer that but it means that we have to look at even at the level of the gambia we have to look at the curricula again and see whether it serves our needs or not. For example, uh, if you look at the examination results in this country, the, 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 the language is always a disaster. But why do we have to bother so much about English? We have now become sovereign, we have languages which are capable of doing exactly what English is doing. Why are we not doing that? I'm happy that even though it is, it is in a, done in a hesitant way, not a very serious way, there is now the idea of teaching national languages in schools, but it is not being done, done, it is not being addressed seriously. But that eventually will have to be, because the new constitution, when it becomes a constitution in this country, is saying that you can even use your languages in the National Assembly, which means that it's not only those who can now speak English who can become members with NASA. The logical conclusion, that's what I'm telling you. That anybody who can read and write in your own language, you can become a member of the National Assembly since it is going to be a language in the National Assembly. So these are big tasks that we have to address.